Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Rules is right here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! Pack Ring. Last episode, people. Holy God, we struck gold, people. We're insane gold. I don't know if you're guaranteed to get yourself a gold card like that, but holy damn, that was insane. But today's episode, we're opening up one last Rush Jewel box for this month for Christmas. And it was one of the new ones that I picked up from Japan, and it is it's called Legend Awakening Pack. So I have no idea what this could be. This could be either blue eyes cards or some new dragon types or something. I have no idea, but it looks like, again, 15 packs in a booster box. There is only 51 cards in the set and there's looks like there's only one card of this card. So that could be a very, very godly card. And there's only two for this and there's six, eight, 14 of them. So possibly there's 20 commons, 14 supers, probably a ultras maybe six secrets i don't know and then possibly a gold card or something insane i do not know people i have no clue but we're gonna crack this open people your um your um curiosity is a just like mine people so i'm excited hopefully you guys are too because this is gonna be an amazing box opening i'm looking forward to this this could even be better than the last one because last episode, people, we were pulling like blue eyes cards, red eyes cards, dark magician cards, and a beautiful gold looking card, which looked absolutely gorgeous. But here we are 15 packs from this new set that I picked up from Japan Legend Awakening Pack. Let's get this started, people. We're hoping to get, I think, the QSC by the look of it from the last episode, you get probably three ultra rares at most. So I have no idea, different pull rates are all different from these type of sets for Rush Jewel, so let's find out. Oh! Oh, that is amazing! Common card right here, Meteor Dragon, that looks cool as hell. Okay, we've got some sort of uh, Berserk Gorilla there with uh, axe, with um, Beast Axe. Oh, that's cute, I'm gonna wrap it. Is that... That's um... White Mage, by the look of it. A rare polymerization, that was cool. So that other polymerization might have been something completely different, but that is cool. So you get a standard rare in a pack now. So there's possibly, so the looks like then the pull rate is 20 commons, 14 rares, eight supers, six ultras, two secrets, one possibly OMFG pack. So this is good for me to know about this pack. So this looks like old school packs right here, so. I'm happy to know this. Okay, nice looking trap that. Oh, that's a cool zombie. Oh, I remember that card very well in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's like Forbidden Memories era. Car destruction, cool. Oh, beaver of some sort. I have no idea what beaver that is, but that's quite cute. Um, I will sleeve up the, re the standard rares probably off camera. I'm just gonna sleeve up the hollows at the moment. Another OG card. Yeah, I'm like opening up this stuff because this reminds me like old school era of like 2002 or up to 2006. I like it. Oh, we got some moles. Cool moles right here. Some sort of samurai card. Another looking zombie card. I know, yeah, there's a possibly type of trap right there with a the goblin. Like it. So this is going to be... This is going to be a quite interesting pack opening right here, people. So first of all, we got guaranteed hollow rares in the first one, but this one, you don't guarantee a hollow. Oh man, mass beasts. Oh, okay, we got ourselves um, building goblin force. Flipping out, Dementor, Dementors. Oh, we got a super rare. Oh, this is cool. This looks like one of the... Um, looks like one of the uh, Noble Knights. Okay, I like the look of that. That's quite cool. Nice. So our first super rare right there, good to know. Okay, so we got some sort of um, machine type of slot machine. That looks like a slot machine actually, but smaller. Okay, another classic. Okay, some sort of a horny helmet. I do remember this dude as well. Oh, my boy, Marshall Garset. This is Grand Marshall Garset, and he's a legend. 
Oh, wow. So possibly he's like one of the boss monsters right there. He looks cool as hell. Especially when he's a full art card. Nice. And I especially think legends are worth way more. So they're like the ones you want to go after. By the, by the sound of it. Because I don't think you can guarantee to get legends all the time. So they might be like, like I said, they could be possibly be boss monsters. For all we know. Meteor Dragon. Mole. Oh, I know that too well. That is, that is Red Eyes Fusion. Oh, that looks mint. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm sleeping that up. I don't care what you guys think. Though that is super cool, super slick. Red Eyes Fusion right there. Next up, let's keep this rolling. Car destruction. Sage. Oh, yeah. Look at that side boob. Check that side boob. Let me see them side boobs. Hey, there's side boobs right there. <laughs> That's a cool card as well. That's another old school card as well, back in uh, Forbidden Memories. And I think that's what they're trying to do right now, people. So that's our second Super Rare, which is good. Because um, a lot of these cards, by the look of it, since I've been opening these up, all I can think is, is Forbidden Memories on the PlayStation 1. Because some of these cards were originally from that, that set in the UK. Of course, in Japan, they had these cards already from the old school sets, like Bandai Namco stuff. And oh my god! MGD five-headed dragon! What? Oh my god! We got Ultra. And it's like one of my favourites. Five-headed dragon right there. Holy crap! What a pull! What a pull! That is amazing right there, people. Oh, and a G right there. Old school to death. What a legendary card. Wow, what a freaking pull right there, people. What a pull. We've got more stuff right here. Okay. Some sort of zombie type of monster as well. as a rare. Okay. And by the look of the booster box, people, if I compare the picture... That is the five-headed dragon, so we actually got the cover card, which is really, really good. I think that's absolutely amazing, people. We got the cover card. I love it when I do pull cover cards. More goblins, Dementors, Dementors. Oh my god! I just got myself a secret legend! Oh my god, the Grand Beast! Oh my god, what an OG card! No freaking way! Damn son, that is mint! <laughs> These Japanese cards do not... They do not disappoint me at all. That is phenomenal. That is a beautiful secret rare legend right there. What a legendary card right there. Oh my god. So possibly, that is our only secret rare we get. We've got two supers, one ultra and one secret. So possibly, I only get one more ultra and then one more super by the look of it. I think that's how the um, rate is going to be. But hell with it, people. I'm happy. That is freaking good. I really want to learn to how to play Rush Jewel. But again, I have to learn to read kanji before I do so. So, yeah. Okay, some sort of, that looks like alien soldier by the look of it. That is super cool. We got ourselves a secret rare legend. It's like freaking FIFA packs. You get yourself a legendary freaking Pelly and you freak out. <laughs> okay, some more common stuff. Nice! I remember this dude as well. I used to use him a lot in my Blue Eyes deck. If you couldn't get Blue Eyes out, you stick him on and then you get yourself a um, Mega Morph. Whoa, forget about it. Hand Destruction. Oh, there's an Ultra! There it is! What the hell is that? It's a Mammoth! That was a freaking big beast, that is. Damn, he's thick! That is try a freaking strong big monster right there. That is cool. 
Let's leave him up. We've got two packs left, people. Probably we only get a chance to pull one more holographic if we're lucky. But to be honest, people, I'm extremely happy with what I got. Two ultras, two supers, one secret. I cannot complain right there at all. Oh, freaking yes. We get another super. That is awesome. And he looks freaking amazing. And especially with that pentagram in his on his chest. Look at that. That is freaking cool. And I bet he's got a strong effect, especially if he's a level 2 with very, very weak, weak stats. Definitely a zombie. Possibly a card that can bring back zombie cards or get zombie world out. Like, um, like um, one of the zombie cards I use. Um, I completely forgot a name now. God damn it. Final pack. What do we get? And we get, oh sweet, the Sleeping Beasts. I'll take that. So yeah, out of all the commons, the commons look amazing. And we've got every single commons, so that's great. But for the Hollow Rares people, I think we did freaking amazing. For normal rares, we've got some good rares. Red, um, Red Eyes Fusion with the look of it. A legendary Marshall Gar set. And a rare legend. I didn't even notice that was a legend. That's a legend polymerization right there. Awesome. Then for holographics, jeez, for holographics people, this is insane in the membrane. We get three supers, two ultras, and one secret. So you got that zombie card right there. You got yourself that side boob woman. You got yourself some sort of noble knight monster, a big mammoth, five headed dragon, and the king of beasts, a legendary secret. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys can get us to that point, I'd absolutely appreciate every single one of you. If we don't, that's perfectly fine as well. With that being said, the people I'm speaking will see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, MFG, that was amazing. I can't wait for next month to open up the rest of Ross Jewel. Woo, baby! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!